Hi and welcome, this is Jam Jar um, 34 for my first video for Orky October. A um, few shout outs um, that I need to do. Um, one is to um, Pete um, at Mini Warzone. Um, he's doing his Stormclaw box set with Yorks in it and it's looking fantastic. So yeah, check his channel out. Thanks mate. Ka Ching. Um another shout out goes out to um Big Mech Dan Skull. Um I've just seen his um video and he's he's looking pretty cool. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Um so check his awkiness out. Um, thanks to Pete for um, hosting this and sorting this out. So yeah, this is my first one and it's a paint along one. Um, I've had some quite good comments on my paint along. Um, videos. So I'm doing, doing some more. Because I enjoy them. And you can see the real me. So... What I'm doing for my Orkey October, you've seen it in past videos if you've been watching them. This is War Boss. Um, I've what I've done is it's a lead lead figure. It's no plastic apart from the base, um, and I've undercoated it, primed it, if whatever you like to call it, with Amadon. Amazon black base colour as you can see and yes now it's ready to um, put some colour on it and you don't really want to do that but anyway so what the colour I'm using is raw flesh a bit of green um, as he's a war boss I thought he'd be quite nice to be a bit darker than the other ones um, so pick up a paintbrush come paint with me or just watch my video as I paint up to you totally up to you all chilled in this bit and I'm in my kitchen again so what I'm going to do is basically add some green um, to water down this in my wet palette. Well, it's more like a lunchbox, but you know, it's all cool. So, I had some questions, and um, it is a little bit late in the night time. It's about quarter past two in the morning of Friday, the 2nd of October. Hence why. I can't sleep, so I thought I'd do a video instead. Um, so yeah, and that's what I'm doing. I'm hopefully gonna go to bed afterwards and sleep because I've got work tomorrow. So I had a few questions in the last, not the last one, but I think it's my age of stigma. Five. Five or six, one of the two. Can't remember, I think it is. But I had one from Pete from Mini War, uh, War, uh, Mini War Zone. And his question was, how did you get started in the hobby? Um, so I'm going to start by... Answering that question, I have two questions, um, but I'll start by doing that one. Um, I've got started in the hobby by um, quite a while ago. Um, by a game called Advanced Hero Quest, and. There was a f couple of other games. 
that I got into, which was Mighty Warriors. Um, those of you who don't know what that game was, it was um, Skaven, what we call now Skaven base game. Um, and you, you know, built up the built up the game. It was only a little box set about so big. Um, got that. Didn't really do a lot of painting, just put the game together and played it. Um, thoroughly enjoyed doing the building side of that. Um, and Hero Quest, well, Hero Quest was Hero Quest. Um, but yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, there was another game called Ultramarine. Which was in the same size box as it was in a four four system game. There was Mighty Warriors, Ultramarines, um, I think there was one a bit like Man of War, and there was a bit like Goth Fleet, something like that. So yeah, that's how I got into it. Um, I moved on from that to Epic. Um, and I thoroughly enjoyed the little models, but my painting wasn't um, that great, it was basically slap, slap it on job, no washes, no, you know, back in the day, back in the day painting, so yeah, it was just slap the paint on, make it look colourful and, and play. Um, I had a chaos army with that, um, and space marine one, which was ultramarines, and they're a bit like six mil, um, six mil type um, Napoleon stuff, that sort of size. Maybe a little bit smaller. So it was quite... <coughs> that age it was quite challenging to do. It was nice. So, yep. Yeah, um, so I moved on from that. And I got... Warhammer. And... Got into that. Um... Which in turn me got me into a little bit into Warhammer forty K. And then as you well know, I moved over to Age of Stigma. Um got myself into Napoleon stuff and a bit of 40k but don't actually play 40k to be honest um, I'm more more fantasy based which is good but I do like delving in, in and out of Warhammer and now, um, my Napoleon stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's basically how I got into it, basically from a young age. Um, so, 
Yeah, it's all good. But yeah, I'm just putting this green on. It's actually not looking too bad. I thought I'd be horrible at painting orcs. But no, I'm quite enjoying it actually. Putting some green on rather than the usual colours. He's like a wart here now. Poor boss, so. Yeah, I think I might enjoy doing this. And there isn't a lot of skin to be honest. There's the bit of <coughs> I have to apologise for me coughing. Um But yeah. No, it's quite nice. That's quite cool. So yeah, I'm just gonna add a bit more. I've got loads of it in there, but I'll do it a bit more. Um So yeah, I'll dab dabble in forty K. Um like me ultramarines. Um but I haven't really got an army. <coughs> Excuse me. Love me space wolves. Just because they're wolves. And I've got a little soft spot for wolves. I just think they're nice. And my new Walkiness for this. So, yeah, no, I'm quite happy doing it at the moment. I'm quite enjoying it actually. I didn't think I would. There's not really an army that I'd really go for, to be perfectly honest. But I've seen quite a few people doing them. And even though they don't look pretty you know, pretty good on the battlefield, they're quite menacing, I think, with their buggies and stuff. And what you can actually do with the army, you can lose your mind in the army. And the conversion options are quite funky. So yeah, it's all new, it's all cool, and it's Orky October. It's kind of funky in an orky way. So, yeah. So, I've answered that question. Thank you very much, Pete. That was a wicked question. Um, quite sort of handy, really, because I've got a few new subscribers. And it's quite nice to them to get to know you a little bit. And and it follows up on the beer man's question. Um, what inspires me? What inspires me? There's lots of things that inspire me. Um, Day to day life, um, there's other people in the community that inspire me, and quite a few of them do. Um, there's so many that I've actually subscribed to, I can't really. <coughs> really do um, I'm trying to make my channel fresh um, do my thing um, I feel sometimes that I'm nicking a few ideas off people um, by doing like series and um, painting things but And 
it's just part and parcel you learn. So yeah, back to this inspiring. Um, I like seeing the progress. You know, I think the, you know the finished product's good, but the pro the progress and um, what not from plastic to finished is very inspiring what people can actually do and if they're doing something that I like then I you know I will tend to probably do it to be perfectly honest. If I do go quiet I do apologise. Um it is early in the morning and my concentration level is not that great. Uh, I've got to be a little bit on the ball. So yeah, um, pictures um, in magazines. Um, people's posts, when they post just pictures, that inspires me. Um, the fantasy side inspires me, I think, the most. The, you know, the dragons and the what not. Um, and just, you know, just the general community. The people, the people are fantastic. Um, they inspire, inspire me quite a bit. You know, you might be having an off day and you think, oh, what am I going to do? And you think, oh, I'll pick up a brush, do some painting. Chill out. Chill out, do some painting. Best way. That's what I do to chill out. It does, makes me relax. <laughs> Bad day. Good day, painting. Um, so, yeah. That's what inspires me. Lots and lots of stuff. And I do get inspired quite quickly. My head starts rushing. I get a good feeling inside. Um, yeah. Ooh, these are looking... I really do like this hawk. I've missed. Why am I painting that bit? I've been... Sorry guys and girls, if you're watching. I've just painted one bit and then f and totally missed one, the other bit that I was painting. Yeah. So basically what I've done, by mistake, is I've, start, I've painted a bit and I haven't finished what I was painting. So I've painted the top of the arm there but not the underneath bit you might be able to see it a little bit better so yeah remember that paint every bit and probably best not to move on until you have done not like like i've just done you've gone from one bit to another bit but it's done so if you if you want to post a question down below like um edit the beer man edit beer and pete from the war zone have done thank you very much for that guys sweet um do so it was meant to be on an age of stigma video but i thought i'd do it on it doesn't matter when I do it, you know, these are all funky up pool by stuff. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to post a comment on below, ask questions, um, subjects or what you would like me to talk about. Um, yeah, just make it a little bit more, more interesting than me rambling on about.
Stuff. Stuff that I've done. But there you go. We do do these things. So it's nearly the weekend. Well, technically it is. It's Friday. Early in the morning. I can't sleep, so it's sort of a whack out video. Make it a productive night rather than just lay in my bed and do nothing, just trying to get to sleep. Hopefully, I'll feel a bit tired and then nod off after I've done this. I feel better that I've done this as well. So, all good. So uh, now I've now finished the arm that I was meant to do before. I've got um it's nice. I do like this model is actually nice. I've got some green on it. <laughs> Just a bit of fun, a bit of madness in the middle of the night. Madness, madness. So, yeah, I'm just doing. So, what you got planned for the weekend? Painting? Cool, if you are. If you're not, if you're out with the family, even better. Take some time off from the painting. Um, I'll be chilling out. My, it's Warhammer Sunday on Sunday so I'll be doing some of that be doing another video hopefully cracking down on my videos on a regular basis a bit more like this a bit of um, black powder so yeah busy Doing a bit of coursework or studying over the weekend. So that's all good. Hand arms are tricky, but. So yeah, I'll be doing a bit of that, a bit of this, a bit of that. And a bit of chilling out as well. Bit in between there. So I hope you have a wicked Friday. Last day of the week. Maybe I'll put, put some green stuff in that little hole that like I should have done before. But we'll see. So yeah, have a good Friday. Friday should always be good. It should be fun. Um, especially if you're at work. And you work your ass off. Good. 
didn't know that I was going to like this walk so much. They are kind of funky to paint. But yeah. So yeah, um, it's now 25 minutes. This is probably going to take about 10 years to upload, like it usually does. Um, see you in 10 years. <laughs> nah, only joking. Um, no, I hope it loads up a bit quicker than it has been. It's been a bit annoying. Um, but there is that with YouTube. It does tend to take a little bit of time to upload a long video. So, um, so yeah, I'm gonna be doing that. Time just seems to go really quickly when you're painting. Like Twenty six minutes. It's annoying. It feels like I haven't really done anything. I just rambled on and. Now it's on. Just means I can do some more painting and some more rambling videos. After I've deleted loads of stuff on my phone. But yeah. So I've got a box up there that I'm doing, which is a Warhammer box. I've got some more 40k stuff of orcs down there, which are little ones. Um, got some knobs, some orc knobs to do, and some um, storm boys, old school storm boys. So I'm looking forward to do them, but I'm going to do this one first. I've got to build them yet as well, so. Do a bit of building maybe on Sunday. I've been chilling out on Sunday. Don't exactly know what I'm doing. Probably just chilling out. Doing a bit more studying. A bit more painting. Another video, no doubt, for my Age of Stigma stuff. Because it's Warhammer Sunday, as I keep saying. Yeah, no, it's cool. All look good. All good in the hood. In the kitchen, painting again. So, yeah, I've had some good comments to be honest. Um, I'm really enjoying these painting things, so expect more of them. Um, if you are painting with me, thank you very much for um, joining me on this little challenge that I'm doing. And if you're following me in any other challenges, why not do them? Um, so yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Um, listening to me ramble while I'm painting. Um, and very much like the support very kind of you so yeah yeah my youtube channel i didn't think it would be as it was great as it's sort of not in a bigging up myself but i didn't think how nice and pleasing it was to no, get one subscriber and then get loads more. Never thought I would. Didn't, didn't sort of think that I would. Wasn't expecting it. And got it. So, this is 29 and a half minutes, and I have done the green. Stay tuned, guys, for some more orkiness from me and him. And him and him and him. Right, that's Mr. Warboss Green, Green, Green Skin himself. And this is Janjar34 signing off for my first Orky October video. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe. 
Let the weekend be a good one. Cheers.